up so i think did i wash it again or i think i might just combed it out so you see this hair is like super thick love it um i washed this wig and then wore it in that state and then i just combed it out to get it ready because it's technically supposed to be a straight wig it was straight when i bought it and then it was like wavy and now and then i just combed it out so it's a really pretty it's a really pretty wig so what we're about to do right now is we're gonna straighten her because i mean i could wear it like this i could wet it again and those curls will come back but I got this wig because it was a straight wig. So cool. let's get into straightening this hair. Um, so if you're interested in seeing me straighten my wig and stuff, I don't know, then keep on watching. Okay, so I'm gonna use um, my Chi Air. Do, we, do they even make cheese anymore? I don't know. Um, but I, this is the same flat iron I've had for a while because as a natural I don't straighten my hair often so I actually cut all my hair off um New Year's Day 2022 or it was technically the day before New Year's Day it was like midnight on New Year's I cut all my hair off because um between grief and depression and and hair dye it and me not maintaining my hair it was a hot mess so I cut it all off even though I regret it but at the same time i don't because my hair grows pretty quickly i got a good amount of inches on my head and it's only been eight months so i'm not complaining um but yeah so my chi this like i said i've had her for a while um and then i'm just gonna use this rat tail comb to make it easier to part and also use it as a comb um let me braid this uh, side note this hair thinking about braiding this hair actually does really well if you um if you wet it and then braid it like do two french braids um or two braids like this or really three however i mean i did two and it came out amazing um it was a really pretty way like a braid out and then because this isn't my hair i'm pretty sure this should be fairly easy and quick to do so let's see look how my what can we talk about in this short process that it's gonna take to do my hair and then I'm, I'll take off this at the end um, I'm just trying to see if I need to oh yeah no, I don't need to use this comb the one thing about um, weave hair though is that you know I mean just like our natural hair I mean I didn't say it's just this is human hair but didn't grow out of my scalp. It holds on to heat, but like I said, I feel like that's all hair. Um, but I feel like this just kind of holds a little more. The only downside to this flat iron is that it has a dial on it. Um, it moves. So like I ended up one time, the, the first time I big chop, I ended up giving myself heat damage because the dial kept moving to 410. That's the only downside to this flat iron. Otherwise, I love it. That's why I've had it for so long. It's like I don't know what I'm doing. I haven't had to flat iron my hair in a really long time. But it's so pretty. I definitely have on dark colors. And I definitely probably should have rethought that. But it's okay. And um, I sprayed a ton of heat protectant in this hair. Before I flat ironed it. Before, before I started uh, filming. Because because of me. Sleep up too um because i don't want the curls to go away like i don't want to give this hair heat damage i want to keep the curls y'all the way that i'm flat ironed this is the most ghetto <laughs> look do not flat iron your natural hair like this but you can definitely flat iron your wigs like this nothing's gonna happen as long as you use heat protectant and the correct temperature if it's not real um hair if it's like synthetic hair i think you can only go up to like 350 or i wouldn't even do that because it's synthetic might as well just buy you a straight synthetic wig yeah i don't really think i have any life updates i did that whole life update video things really changed still working same job um baby girl is learning her colors so that's exciting for me she's learning them and saying them without prompt so it's like sorry i'm looking in the mirror I'm sure you guys know that by the fact that I've done a couple videos in my bathroom, so. 
Um, but yeah, so like different things she'll see and she'll point to it and be like purple or um, yellow. Yellow is like her favorite color right now. So yellow is her go-to. Like when in doubt, she's saying the color's yellow. <laughs> It's not like bone straight, but I don't, I kind of like the, I kind of like the texture that we have going on in here. So I don't really want it to be bone straight. I could turn the, um, I could turn it up, but like I said, I don't really want this to be bone straight. Um, if you can hear my background, you're, you can probably hear the baby and Cheetah Girls. Um, I saw a random TikTok of this girl decorating her steering wheel and she was using a cheetah girl song and i was like oh we gotta watch cheetah girls <laughs> um yeah cheetah girls one i mean the other ones are cool but we're going with cheetah girls one you know what that just made me realize i want to watch bring it on the first one that's it <laughs> um so i'm gonna to turn that on next i think what did we do today oh i went to the eye doctor today so we should, don't I have a clip somewhere in here? Or I'm like, do I know where it's at? Nope. Am I gonna look for it? Nope. Um, start at the bottom. Don't do what I do. This is not a tutorial. <laughs> um, but I went to the eye doctor today and got some new frames cause these are old, way past old. That's why they don't stay up on my face. Um, the new last night got a really cute. It was a little bittersweet though because this is the first time I've gone and got new glasses without my mom being here. So that was that was different because always she would always um, it would be more like a okay are you trying to stand out <laughs> or are you trying you know just like have cute glasses but not be like in your face. Um, that's usually how it goes because that's usually what I do. Like I'll pick like a regular looking frame, you know, like, oh, okay, yeah, these are like the safe, these are the safe frames. And then I'll pick um, some ones that are still super cute, but they're a little different. And actually if editing Adria feels like it, I'm gonna post, I'm gonna show the different glasses I've had throughout the years. Like some of them are calm, like these are very calm, even though we got the little bling bling on the side, but they're very calm. But at the same time, they're aviators, so how calm are they? <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, that didn't get flat ironed at all. All right, let's let that put there. Um, but yeah, so that was an interesting situation. Those should be here in like about two weeks. Always, since since I was old enough, I guess, or since I realized it existed, um, I got transitions. And I think it's so funny, the stigma that comes with transitions, people are always like, oh, you're this or that if you have transition glass. And it's like, I think you're smart. <laughs> I think you're extremely smart because like, it's a built-in sunglass, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, why would I not want a built-in sunglass when I have on my, or sunglass, sunglasses when I have on my prescription frames? Like, why would I not want that? Like, it doesn't make sense to me that you wouldn't want it. I mean, if you can't afford transition, just say that. <laughs> no, but it just, it was, it's it's very interesting to me. So I've always had transitions, or like I said, when I realized, which I mean, transitions might have came out during my lifetime. So that might have been why I didn't have transitions before, or I just wasn't old enough to really know the difference. And then I know, for example, like my mom, wore glasses, well not her entire life, cause she wasn't really blonde. I'm the really blonde one. I don't know how I got really blonde and she's not that blonde. And my daddy has like 20, 20 vision. I don't know. Not in his older life though. He needs readers now, but he can still see real well. And can definitely see better than me. It's just a small part he be struggling with. Um, but I have glasses. Cause if I didn't have glasses, I'd be struggling too. <laughs> um, but yeah, like she always wore um, like regular glass and then she always had prescription sunglasses so I think like I never wanted prescription sunglasses like I was never like oh let's have two pairs of glasses like you know I'm good I don't realize they existed I started doing them and then so I did transitions for a while 
just the just a solid color transition and then um you should have seen because i'm hoping i found pictures i had orange glasses at one time and like i said i have always done transitions so when i got those orange glasses um the i don't know what they're called who are the people like not the optometrists but like the people that work hey y'all so as you can see i had to relocate um so you want to know what's ghetto couple things um the fact that i kept thinking i was hearing someone i can hear my upstairs neighbors and i don't know why they're screaming right now it's it's 10 45 on a saturday i get it but why are y'all so loud like when the tv's not on because it wasn't probably was just in here listening to her tablet which is right next to me i don't know why um, I could hear them and then I came into the living room because um, technology is the devil <laughs> so I had to relocate because my battery died um, and I was hot in that bathroom so I finished straightening out my hair um, yeah so that's what it looks like I do apologize for this angle y'all I'm, I'm sorry because there's some more ghetto stuff that happened so then if you notice I don't have on my glasses you want to know why? Because when I was taking the um, silk headband wrap thing off my head, my lens popped out um, and I couldn't put it back in. I mean, I don't know if it felt some type of way because we were talking about glasses or what, but these are, these are, um, I've, I've, I've had to fix these multiple times and the screw, oh, it's still in there. Um, so we might be able to fix it, but I'm not putting these things back on until I'm not, there's no one until I'm not putting them back on because it's real ghetto. Um, so I made me some hot chocolate and I'm about to put on my readers, which aren't readers, they're UV blockers, um, which are dirty because um, I, I feel like I look like a naked mole rat. That's some baby wipes. So yeah, so as I was saying, the transitions that I used to get were all dark, like they were black because I didn't know there were options for transition colors. So when I got those orange glasses, um, the lady told me that they had or a brown transition, like a sapia color, and I was like, oh, that will be fire. Um, from that point, I was like, okay, so I can, I, I, there's options, but then I didn't think about it again. Um, these glasses I have went back to the dark tint because they're black. Um, those were orange, so we did the brown tint. I'm trying to think, have I done any other color tints or transition? So me bringing up those different transition colors, the point was, is that um, today I decided on it there's a blue pair and there's a pink pair in the from the previous pictures i should have seen um i, I my glasses don't I, I don't i have no desire to look normal to look like regular um so to speak when it comes to my glasses because i wear them often so they have to fit the vibe nonetheless we went with a pair but with that being said because i'm not gonna tell y'all y'all don't see them suspense um, but with that being said, the pink ones were gonna get a brown sapia tint. It wasn't sapia though, it was like a darker, it was a darker brown. And then um, the blue ones are gonna get a blue tint. I keep saying tint, but transition. Like the color when I walk outside in the sun, or if it's a super bright day, it's gonna be either brown or blue. So I'm super excited about that. When I, I, I randomly mentioned it to the, um, I don't, reception, I don't like calling them that because they do so much. Um, but when I mentioned it to them, she was like, um, well, not all frames you can do this with, or not all lenses. Like, yeah, you're like the lenses that you get is a reason that you can do transition because I guess not all lenses you can do transitions. And I'm like, good to know. It's, I'm interested to see what the lens, what the front, what the lenses are going to look like in the in the frames that I picked because um, I I have to get my lenses shaved down because it just looks crazy if I don't. So. 
hopefully they'll be shaved down to the point where it just they just look like a regular pair of glasses like these but unfortunately they probably won't because i'm blind and i like picking frames that make it difficult to just have regular lenses um or to not look like my lenses are so thick my lenses have always been thick if i could find a throwback picture of my coke bottle glasses y'all know the ones mine were pink um thick <laughs> saw the hair straightened out like I said, I didn't bone. I didn't straighten it to bone straight because that wasn't that wasn't the goal. It was it's getting like um, blown out, but like I blew it out real well, type vibe. Um, there's a cigar in my background, y'all. I'm in the living room. Um, but yeah, you can still see some of the texture through it, but it's fine. I really like this wig. I didn't do a video on this wig, but this is the same wig that was the, what I got for my 32nd birthday um, video. That was, this is the same wig. She's just straightened out. Um, and we're gonna wear her for a minute. Plus, I hope you enjoyed this straight hair, chit chat, straight hair, this straighten my hair, chit chat um, video from the disrespectful technology that decided to die while I was mid thought and sentence, um, but if you like this video, don't hesitate to give me a thumbs up. Leave any comments down below of any video suggestions you may have. I'm gonna um, probably do a couple more hair videos. I'm gonna get back on my therapy days as well because I think those are really uh, cathartic for myself. And I feel like um, for those that did watch them, they appreciated it, it was helpful. Um, so that's, that's pretty much where that's at. I'm gonna drink my hot chocolate and Look at my baby while she's eating a goldfish. Don't ask me why. I don't know. She does what she wants on the weekends. Okay? <laughs> Monday through Friday, we have a routine. On the weekend, she lives her best life. Um, so, now I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.